Tell me more about some of your uh, uh, achievements. Let's look at the uh, Scottish uh, Parliament. Uh, what would you single out that you were most proud of when you were in the, the Scottish Parliament? Well, I was very proud, first of all, of being elected uh, <laughs> to the first ever Scottish Parliament. Especially as an independent, <laughs> which, uh, you know. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, by that time, I had uh, uh, been expelled by the Labour Party. As soon as I put my nomination paper forward uh, as, as a, an independent candidate, then I was expelled uh, by the Labour Party. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, many of uh, my former colleagues said, that will be the end of him then. He will be in the political <laughs> graveyard. Uh, yeah. But uh, in fact, uh, even I was surprised. I, I, I thought I would win, to be honest. I, I, yeah. I thought I would win, but I never thought I would win with the, the biggest uh, majority uh, in Scotland. And I felt quite vindicated because I had com campaigned for uh, uh, the setting up of the Scottish yeah. Parliament for many, many years at, at a time when it was not the most popular cause uh, within the the uh, Labour Party uh, and it was not the most popular cause within some of the other parties in Scotland uh, uh, at that time too. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, obviously I felt uh, a huge sense of uh, uh, vindication uh, on on my election uh, to the Parliament um, and as I previously said I had been so disillusioned uh, with uh, Westminster that um, I just felt that Westminster was increasingly uh, out of touch uh, with the, the, the people uh, of Scotland. And almost immediately I sensed that uh, in the new Scottish Parliament uh, there was uh, a feeling that um, it was responding more positively to the the needs and the aspirations uh, of the people of Scotland on, on things like tuition fees, for example. Yeah. The, the Blair government had introduced uh, tuition fees and it was the Scottish Parliament uh, which uh, uh, abolished uh, the tuition fees. And there were some other uh, early successes as well, um, things like um, free personal and nursing care uh, for the elderly. Um, there was uh, the ab abolition of uh, um, warrant sales. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, later on in the parliament, of course, there was the, the uh, introduction of, of free prescriptions, mm -hmm. which uh, had been introduced by Nye Bevan, the Labour's health minister, way back just after the Second World War. Uh, but uh, um, the charges had been um, enforced for, for, for decades and it was the Scottish Parliament that uh, uh, abolished them.